Hello, everyone, and good afternoon. My name is Rich Longo, and I'll be your host. Thank you for joining us for another Flycast Partners presentation. Today's webinar is Voice Automation presented by Michael Durant. Michael is an experienced pre-sales senior solutions consultant with extensive experience in collaborating with clients on IT strategies. He's a proven leader that is results-driven, motivated professional, and extensive experience in spearheading the management, design, development, implementation, and testing of IT solutions. Recognized leader in effectively translating major business objectives into high-impact technical solutions and a commitment to helping organizations achieve maximum benefit from their IT investment through team leadership, strategy, execution, and commitment to quality. He has well over 18 years of IT experience and a reputation for dedicated teamwork, high energy work ethic, and commitment to customer service. Adept in analyzing customer needs and collaborating effectively with clients, assessing needs and resolving issues. Conscientious and dependable in completing projects within the appropriate time frame. Before we get started, Michael, let me introduce our organization here. Flycast Partners is here to deliver a seriously amazing IT experience. We are founded and staffed by personnel that have many years of experience in the IT space. We took the best ideas from these collaborative experiences and added the best components necessary to grow and become a leaded value-added reseller in the North American IT market. We offer best-in-class implementation services and training at ITSM, ITAM, ITOM, Enterprise Service Management, and Workload Automation Spaces using ITIL best practices. Our professional services can easily scale up or down to meet the IT needs of any customer regardless of size, complexity, or budgetary restrictions. We offer implementation services both on-site and remote, as well as training to reinforce your company's long-term IT success. Our ongoing administration support service offerings will enable you to focus on those normal day-to-day -day operations, saving you both precious time and money. I encourage you to reach out to us at 844-FLYCAST, that's 844-359-2278, or visit our website at www.flycastpartners.com. This is one of many weekly webinars that we offer here at Flycast Partners, and I encourage you to check out the variety of offerings that we have. Check out the webinars upcoming, check out any live events, check out any training that we might also offer here, Flycast Partners. You can reach out to us through our chat client within our uh, website and chat with one of our many IT specialists. And they're here Monday through Friday during more normal business hours. And without further ado, I'm gonna turn this over to Michael. Michael, take it away, sir. Well, yep, thanks everyone. Thanks, Rich, for the wonderful introduction. Thanks everyone for, for joining us today um, for another webinar. Uh, provided with the Avanti Solutions from Flycast. Uh, so I figured today, Rich did an introduction of myself, um, and I think it's it's a good idea that I give you an overview of the company that provides this solution that I'm going to demonstrate for you today. So Avanti, you know, uh, I've worked with um, them before they were Avanti, when they were Landesk. They were established in 1985. They are privately owned, headquarters in Salt Lake City, and probably has more than 1,700 employees by now, um, and, you know, lots more customers as well. Now, they do have a very large partner system, and we happen to be one of the partners of the year last year, so kind of wanted to point that out. And ever since I've worked with, with Avanti, Landesk, they've you know, acquired uh, lots of best-of-breed applications throughout the, um, uh, a period of time. So kind of wanted to give you a little bit of the acquisition history. And, you know, started in 2012 where they, they acquired Managed Planet. I was actually uh, a customer at the time, and we utilized that solution um, quite effectively in, in uh, an issue that we have. Fast forward to 2017 where the Heat application was acquired and also came along the brilliant voice solution. So, you know, that's what we'll be looking at today. Well, I'll be actually using um, both of these solutions integrated together to show you the power of uh, what Avanti provides. So again, with all of this, you know, acquisitions and, um, you know, things are organically developed internally, Avanti is able to provide a unified IT solution. You know, Avanti delivers these solutions, whether it's on 
on-premise or in the cloud with automation workflows and business intelligent uh, value uh, and reporting analytics. Now, the solution that we'll be looking at today is the Avanti automation telephony system, which is integrated to the uh, service management uh, pillar as well. So we'll be looking at both of those products in action integrated together today. So let's look at some important concepts. Now keep in mind, you know, Avanti, you know, is a huge, the, the voice solution is a, has huge capabilities and features that makes it, you know, a, a very comprehensive and leading in the market. You know, it's, it's, it's flexible, easy to use, and integrates with your service management solution. So these concepts, you know, uh, Avanti Voice empowers you to measure. So when you integrate with your service management tool, you'd have the ability to measure, uh, have KPIs and metrics against how those calls are, are being handled, how, how long maybe things like busy times, how, think, how customers are being put on hold, and, you know, through the integration, we can automate a lot of that, offloading a lot of that, you know, human touch uh, where using the automation platform within the, the voice technology to be able to, to automate a lot of those service management uh, systems. Now, there, there are no API connectors. Avanti uses an industry standard SIP uh, integration, you know, to allow your outside world, your different telephone systems to talk uh, to this solution, uh, provide those um, workflows to be able to be automated via the handsets. And, you know, with this built-in integration to the Avanti service management system, when upgrades come, uh, those things are not uh, affected. Now, it, it is agnostic to phone systems, so, you know, it doesn't require a specific phone system to initiate these functions. So we can integrate with um, a list of those, those lead-in phone systems available today. So let's take a look at some of the issues that, you know, a little bit of my background came from, you know, installing phone systems as well. And obviously being a, an end user and a customer, we kind of, I'm sure each of us on this call could, could attest to an experience where you called into a system, a PBX system, whether it's from your mobile device, your home, and you enter all of this information <clears throat> and then you're transferred to an agent. And because those are disconnected, the agent now asks you all of that same information again. How annoying is that? <clears throat> so you have to repeat that. As a matter of fact, I just had that experience recently, and I was joking with the agent about um, the Avanti solution and what they actually need to get in place. So speaking of that, Avanti solution, again, can be provided on-premise and in the cloud. And through that SIP integration, uh, the systems, uh, your, your external systems, are able to talk to the Avanti voice solution and also the service management solution, allowing the, the handoff of the correct information so that when you call in and you enter that information from your handset, things can be automated. If you need it to get to an agent, the agent will have that updated information for you. So now you're providing a, uh, an efficient service to your um, service management offerings via a voice solution. So for today's agenda, we're going to look at how you can provide announcements. And what an announcement is, is utilizing uh, a function that's built into the service management, the Avanti service management uh, solution, where we can provide, you know, uh, notifications like outages. I'm sure each of us can attest to calling into maybe our, our uh, internet service provider when the weather is bad and you get an announcement uh, very similar. So we'll look at how that, that actually works. You'd hear that in action. You'd also see a password reset automated from uh, a telephone system where the end user can call in and provide, you know, identification of who they are and have a ticket opened and closed automatically and having their password reset automatically as well. And we'll also look at the, you know, uh, where the end user can select by a self-service on their telephone system. Uh, to open a ticket and be identified for the end, for the uh, technician so they can have all of that information really available. And lastly, we'll look at if someone is not available on your service desk 
And for some reason, the processes being chosen are not automated, the end user can also open a ticket with voicemail. And who are those players? So today we're going to use Sheldon. He's going to be the service desk rep. And then Penny is going to be the customer calling in uh, to the service desk. So you see those names referenced in from a service desk representative. And also as tickets get opened, you would see the name Penny being identified in today's demonstration. So we talked about the agenda and what's going to happen. So kind of wanted to give you an example of what's behind the scenes. So in, in the example that you're looking at is a password reset workflow. So this is where the customer will call in at the start. You know, we'll have the automatic name and identification, identifying that user, um, where the user can then proceed to the self-service. In this example, the user is going to go on and choose a password reset function, where then there's some challenge information where that end user has to be identified. At that particular point, once the user is matched to that, to that record in your service management, the password will then get reset, a ticket will be created, and that password will be re read to the end user. It could be a temporary password, where functions like the user has to reset that password upon login can also be triggered through this automation. And what does this drive for you? This reduces costs. There's no human interaction at this point. It's all automated. This is just one example of what you can build using the voice automation system. This improves service. You can then offer automation 24-7 without having someone on call or paying someone to be on call, all through this automation. And when you do this, you can have an audit trail where you can see all of your first call resolutions, which will obviously go up based on the automation capabilities of, of this, this solution. And we'll take a look at some of this in action today so I can show you how this all works. All right, so let's get to the, uh, the actual show now. Let's get these uh, systems over here. Let's dive into the voice solution. So what you're looking at on your screen, as I mentioned earlier, is I will be using the Avanti service management system to show you the integration of the voice solution. There, there is a built-in integration for this with the Avanti service management solution in which you can take, you know, a uh, quick advantage of to get that, those systems up and running quickly. So on your screen, uh, you see I mentioned Sheldon. Uh, Sheldon has some functions, some additional functions based on the, the integration to the uh, voice system where, you know, he can do things like, you know, go into a ready mode, he can maybe go to a break, he can choose options that you allow him or, or that ha have been configured for him to use. You can also expose additional uh, options as well. So Sheldon can, you know, do additional functionality from here. As I mentioned earlier, we have an announcement uh, that we're going to look at um, within the system once we dial in. Now, I'm going to use a, a call manager application. I would imagine lots of you have, you know, Cisco systems, Avias, Shortel, with call managers that either run on a phone, um, sorry, run on a desktop, or run on a mobile device. So what I'm doing here is simulating uh, Penny calling into the, the, uh, the system so that we can hear things like the announcements and she can get to the self-service to provide things like a password reset. So let's go ahead and, and uh, play that. Let me just make sure that announcement is published. Yes, it is. So let's go ahead and dial in to the help desk. Welcome to our Ivanti voice demonstration. To report a new incident, press 1. To inquire about an existing incident, press 2. To reset your domain password, press 3. To confirm your identity, please enter your personal identification number. Your password reset ticket number is... 1, 1, 1, 5, 5. Your new password is uppercase N three W P. 
So let's recap what we just saw. What, what just happened was Penny called into the service desk. She got an announcement. Uh, that announcement that I explained earlier can be, you know, an outage where it directs her to do specific things. She then proceeded to the self-service using that telephony system and created and resetted a password. That, that the system created a, a ticket for her. And let's go ahead and take a look at where, what that ticket looks like. So we can see that actually came into the, the service management system. That ticket number was 11155. And here's that ticket that came in. As you can see, the system identified Penny Smith. It was closed automatically. The response targets were met based on your SLAs, uh, uh, your responses. And all of the information that was carried out and where it came from uh, was all captured in this incident. So now you can run metrics. And as you can see, this will drive up your first call resolution. I'm going to change that announcement to pending. And the reason I'm going to do that is to remove that for the next examples. The next examples will be where Sheldon is on the help desk and Penny is calling in and choosing an option that needs to be identified based on that call coming into the system. To report an incident, press one. To inquire about an existing incident, press two. To reset your domain password, press three. For hardware problems, please press one. For software problems, please press two. Otherwise, please press zero. The destination number was not found. Hmm. All right, so as you can see, without going into a specific call, because Sheldon does not have a, obviously a phone set for me to answer, and he, you hear all of that. But what you can see here is Penny was identified. Based on that call coming in, Sheldon has received that. Here, you know, you can see all the details on Penny, where, you know, we can go ahead and open a ticket. We can see all the information on her. We'll have her on the phone, and then we can go ahead and create um, any, you know, uh, I'll give her any help she would need with any issues that she's having. Now, this, at this particular point, I'm going to bring Sheldon into a not ready mode. And I'm just going to select one of these options that I created. He's tired. He's been working since 6 this morning. And now Penny is going to call into the help desk and choose an option to leave a, a, uh, um, a voicemail. And we'll see that create a ticket for the service desk, and they can go ahead and fulfill that requirements by listening to that voicemail. To record a new incident, press 1. To inquire about an existing incident, press 2. To reset your domain password, press 3. To inquire about an existing service request, press 4. If you are not, Penny, press star at any time to access the top service. At the end of this call, you may be selected for a random survey. Please leave a message after the tone. Press any key or hang up to finish. Test message, I need a little help. All right, so Penny went ahead and left a voicemail. <clears throat> and within the system, what will happen is a voicemail ticket will be created. Now, those tickets will show up on the service desk. Uh, for that technician that things are assigned to, and they may come in in specific priority. And here you see I have uh, a voicemail incident, an example of one of those. And you can see where it came in from Penny Smith. It's active. Um, you know, this is an older ticket where I can look at the details. And there's that attachment, and obviously you would need a voice player to actually play that recording. We can have all of that information, and along with that, a lot through the integration, seeing information that's being transferred from that voice system. So there you have it. We went through our agenda today where we looked at uh, an announcement. Let me bring that up. There we go. So we looked at an announcement. We all walked through an automation of password reset uh, for an end user. 
we looked at a ticket being opened for that end user and, and also a ticket being opened by a voicemail. So with that, I would also like to uh, give you um, back to Rich and thank you so much for joining this demonstration today. I hope it was informative for you and if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you again, Michael, for a great presentation. Uh, very good. I, it's it's nice to see this in action. Let's see. It looks like we might have a question. Oh, don't let me. Okay, so uh, it, Crystal, if you have a question, go ahead and type it in. We'd be happy. Actually, let me unmute you. I'll let you ask your question. Hold on. Let's see here, folks. If you have any questions, now's the time to type them in or or notify me. I'll be happy to go ahead and. Uh, and unmute you. Oh, it looks like we lost Crystal. And uh, we'll have uh, Michael answer as many questions as he possibly can. Uh, if you want to get more information about the voice automation tool, please feel free to reach out to us directly at 844-FLYCAST. That's 844-359-2278. Or you can chat with us on our website. Uh, Monday through Friday during normal business hours. Or simply go ahead and email us at info at flycastpartners.com. We'll be happy to get you information on the tool. Uh, if you're wanting a demonstration for your own organization, we'll be happy to do that for you as well. And I wanna thank everyone for taking time out of their busy day to join us uh, for today's presentation. All right, here we go, here's a question. Uh, Roy wants to know, it's not clear how the system knew it was penny calling. How was that handled? <clears throat> So when, when the system, when using automatic name identification, when the caller comes in, that record is based in the service management tool. So it, because of the integration, the interface, it uses <clears throat> that number to match against the record using that automatic name and identification. <clears throat> and then it can recognize who that, that user is. Okay, the questions are rolling in now. Here we go. We've got Bernard. What type of effort of an effort is it to provide uh, password reset in multiple languages? That's a great question. That is an awesome question. Um, so this is the on the back end of the, the voice system, uh, there there's an open interface allowing you to create those workflows. In terms of the different languages, uh, we'll <clears throat> we'll have to. Um, look at what you know you're looking at, obviously, to see what you know match what's available in the system, and uh, <clears throat> a lot of those workflows can be you know converted to you know what languages are available. I believe there are about five different languages at this time. I'll have to confirm that that are available in the system. And when you create one in 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 one specific language, you can then copy that workflow to then be provided in different languages to different audiences. Hopefully that answered your question, Bernard. Uh, anybody else have any questions, please go ahead and send them to us. We'll be happy to answer those. Crystal, in answer to your uh, response there, we would be happy to help your organization out with a personalized demo or, or uh, whatever it is that you're looking for there. I know that uh, you'd like to see this again. Uh, for those of you that are wanting the link to this video, go ahead and, and you know, reach out to me at rich.longo at flycastpartners.com. Uh, we'll make sure you get the link uh, to this uh, webinar as, so that you can share it with other folks. But Crystal, if you'll reach out to me directly, we'll make sure you get uh, synced up with the right person for your particular organization. We would love to help you guys out. Anyone else have any questions at this point, uh, both either in chat or in the Q&A section of this uh, WebEx? Uh, now's the time, here we go. Uh, here's another one. Cynthia wants to know, can this work for financial institutions since they need to identify personal information? Absolutely. In the workflow, you get to choose what identification is, is required or can be exposed, and um, that's, that's all driven in the workflow. And hopefully that answered your question, Cynthia. Anyone else have a question that they want to ask Michael while we have his undivided attention? Uh, now's the time to ask. Uh, we don't get a chance to get him on here very often, so now's the time to take advantage of it. Uh, 
Once again, those of you that are looking for a copy of this presentation, uh, we cannot send you slides. However, we can send you a copy of the video video link and uh, just reach out to me at rich.longo at flycastpartners.com. Uh, here's another question from CJ. Can you apply two-factor author authentication to the password reset process? You absolutely can. You absolutely can. Again, all built into the workflow with the open interface, uh, and you can provide that, those multi-factors. Um, you absolutely can. The workflow is very configurable, and again, depending on what you want to integrate to, there are open integration options uh, so that you can call those password reset, you know, identification information from different systems. So yes, absolutely. Here's some really good questions, folks. Keep them coming. So if you have questions, now's the time to ask. Yep. Here's another question, another one. Are there different voice templates and sounds? I love that question. Yes, yes, there is. You can even record your voice if you have a radio personality voice and lay it over onto these uh, these functions if you'd like. So you can even you know put in specific, specific voice recordings in certain areas. So yeah, very configurable to do that. And that's something I'm working on to get a, a more uh, delightful voice in my demonstration kit. So good question, I love it. Yeah. All right, and another one, does this utilize AI? Uh, the system itself doesn't currently do it, but 2D integration with the things like the AI model within, you know, service management tools, I believe we can look at, um, you know, what you would want to use for AI. So in terms of, you know, I'll expand on that a bit, in terms of um, identifying a user, so we can also identify that user has specific attributes, you can expose that. Uh, so, it, so for example, if you, you're calling in about a specific system, it can ask you, hey, is this about this system, if you have multiple systems. So it can offer some level of intelligence, uh, but if, you know, built into the voice automation system itself does not have a, um, AI capability at this time. Okay. And Charles, I just want to acknowledge I did get your, your message. We will make sure you do get a video link for you and your organization, as well as Jordan. We'll be happy to get that out to you and your organization as well. Any other uh, questions uh, from the audience? Uh, it looks like we've had quite a few questions, a lot of interaction today, Matt, uh, Michael. You've done a great job uh, for these guys to have this much interest. This is good stuff. Well, thank you. Thank you, Rich. Yeah, great yeah. questions. Yeah, All we'll right. be happy Folks, to do to do a one-off demonstration if need be for any of the uh, audience members on here. Just reach out to Rich and get that scheduled. Yeah, here's another question that I think that I, I'm not sure that if, if Michael will have the answer to this or not um, because he is more on the technical side, but they want to know how is this licensed? Good question. I think it's licensed, and I'm not 100% sure, as, as Rich mentioned, it's not um, from you know my my area, but I believe it's licensed via uh, technicians. So you know, based on what system you're connecting to, um, I believe it's licensed via that. But we'll we'll have to make that an action item to to because um, I know there have been some changes lately, and that may be enhanced. So let's get that over to that customer, that information over to the customer. And you can also look at uh, Avanti dot com or, or flycast and look at one of our uh, white papers on that solution you get more information on that or just reach out to us directly and we'll we'll provide that for you yeah, folks, if you reach out to us directly, we'd be very happy to get that information for you. And we do have some uh, data sheets and white papers on our website that we'd be happy to share with you. By all means, so let Flycast Partners help guide you uh, down that journey. Uh, if there are no more questions, I think we're going to wrap it up. Uh, this has been a great, uh, great presentation, folks. I want to thank you for taking time out of your busy day to join us. Uh, my inbox is already filling up with folks that are looking for the video link from today's presentation. So uh, thanks for your interest and thanks again, Michael. Yep. Thanks, Rich. Thanks, everyone. Have a All great right. evening.